I'm going to tell you how you can take this and your tablet and do some diagnostic work on your car. So stay tuned. Not that long ago, I had a trouble code that came up on my car and I wanted to show you something that was really inexpensive that you can pick up, have shipped to you right away from Amazon and you can diagnose your car on your own without having to go to the parts store and have them do it for you. Well, here's the car and it's an 01 Buick LeSabre. Now, I've got uh, a couple of little trouble codes that did come up in the past, and uh, with this tool, I uh, was able to diagnose my problem, and you'll be able to also. So let me show you what we got going on here. Okay, now as I showed you before, this is the item that you're going to be putting into your OBD2 uh, port, and it's called an Elm 327 interface. And all you have to do is just plug this in under the dash and uh, turn on the vehicle. And there's going to be some lights here that flash to let you know that it's doing its interface. And then you're going to access the information that this receives via Bluetooth on your tablet or smartphone. So let me go ahead and plug this in and I'll show you where it goes. Now on this car you can see there's the, the gas pedal and the brake pedal and then the emergency brake pedal or the parking brake pedal. And then right above it is the OBD2 port. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this here and I'm going to plug that into it. Just like that. Now since the car obviously has battery power, the light lights up saying that it is connected. Now, whenever you get in and out of the vehicle, be careful not to bump it because you may cause a problem to where you could break off your OBD2 connector or you may damage the unit itself. Okay, so now I'm in the car and you can see the OBD2 port has been occupied by the Elm 327 interface. And I'm gonna go ahead and start the car. Okay, now that I got the vehicle started, I'm gonna open up my tablet and I'm going to go to the app for the uh, OBD2 interface, and it's called Torque. Um, it's asking about my GPS function. I'll go ahead and hit yes. Um, I can enable the location services, which will give me more information available to the uh, to the OBD2 port. Caution. ISA conditions. And you can see that this is now communicating direct with my tablet as it's going berserk with all of its lights. And the condition report that I just got is based on the temperature in which this vehicle sees uh, externally. And it's basically giving me a warning that it's icy conditions. And that's the cool thing about this is you can access information that your vehicle may have built into it, but you might not have the features. Like, I don't have a compass in here that'll tell me, uh, you know, the external temperature, the outside temperature. However, there are sensors on the vehicle that does that. Now, this right away you can tell is showing you the RPMs. It does quite a few things. It'll show you real-time information based on what you want it to show you. If I rev it, it revs on the gauge and it matches what's on my tachometer over here. Now, there's so much more that's in here that this can do. It's just a really good idea. It's a good tool to have that will give you so much information. As you can see, it's reading vacuum. It's reading coolant temperature. Um, of course, speed as you drive down the road. How much throttle the accelerator is reading when you press on it. Uh, of course, your acceleration in G's, you can do that. And then the RPMs, like I said before. So there's a lot of things that this can do, a lot more than what I'm showing you here. And the nice thing about it is, if you want to, you can make this display in reverse. You can make these gauges quite a bit bigger. And with that, you can lay this on your dashboard at night and turn up the brightness of your tablet and, or smartphone. And you can make it display on the windshield like a heads up display. So there's a lot of nice things that you can do with this, in addition to just troubleshooting and diagnosing what's going on with your vehicle. Like I said, there's quite a few features on here, quite a few gauges that I don't even have added. In addition to information about the vehicle, you can also use this for information about a trip, which if you do the map view, it'll show you what 
it looks like and where you're at. And as you're driving down the road, it will show you driving down the road. And it'll give you different color codes on how fast you're going based on this graph here. And it's really cool that you can actually trace where you've been. You could do, use this as a, a logging device. Um, if you wanted to, you could get an extension cable and run this OBD2 up in the dash to where whoever's driving the vehicle didn't see it, like your kids. And then you can turn your tablet on, make sure it has good power, and make sure that it has a, a long-lasting power source from maybe a power port. And then you can log where your kids have been in case you're wondering how fast they've gone and if they've sped. You don't need to pay for a service. This will do it for you. And of course, this does fault codes for diagnostic. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can just tap that. It'll ask you to tap here to scan for faults or press menu for more options. Let's go ahead and do that. It's asking for the fault codes. It says it may take some time, but it's going relatively quick. 21%, 22%. I'll wait till it gets at 100% here. All right, you can see then whenever it went to 100%, it says no fault codes found in the ECU. There are plugins that you can get, and it's different types of apps. And for the most part, this comes with quite a bit of stuff. This is currently the installed plugins, and all this was uh, relatively cheap. It wasn't expensive at all. So there you have it. Here's the device. There's so many things that you can do. I didn't want to go into any more detail than what I already had because there's just too much to show you and keeping this video at a reasonable length. Um, by now you should be able to decide if that's something that you would like to try out. So I wanted to show you then the app and this is on Google Play for Android but this is also available for your iPad and uh, your iPhone. Um, it's called OBD Check twerk light and uh, it's a free app and of course whenever you click this it just goes ahead and it syncs with your compatible um, Android device and then the item that you're wanting to purchase I'm going to put in a link down below so all you have to do is click that link it'll bring you right to Amazon and you have no worries about getting something that's not going to work now there's a few vehicles that this may not work for but what I'm finding out is if you have a GM product with OBD2 or if you have a Ford product with OBD2 or a Chrysler product with OBD2, you're pretty much covered. Now, whenever you get into some of the foreign cars, you may have a little bit of a problem and you may want to research it a little bit. But you basically want to click the link down below and then go ahead and go into the customer reviews and check out the answers that have been asked. And like I said, this is going to take you to the cheapest price. You'll get it right away. It's, uh, if you have a Prime membership, you'll get it fast uh, without any uh, charge on shipping. Um, if not, it's a minimal charge on shipping. But if you um, think this is something you want to do, go ahead and click the link and it'll take you there. I appreciate you watching the video and good luck with your vehicle. Thanks.